Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Abhishek Mamadi. In this video, I will present you my path to becoming a data scientist. Let's get started. Little bit about my background. After my intermediate, due to rank constraints in JE mains, I had to take ECE branch in Triplet City. But I was really, really interested in computer science branch, but I couldn't get into CSE. In 2015, at that time, Triplet CCT was just a three year old college, and there were only two branches computer science and electronics and communications engineering. And the courses for both CSE and ECE were almost the same for the first two years. I saw a huge opportunity to enroll in most of the computer science courses because I was really interested in taking all the computer science courses. How my journey has started? In fourth semester, I did not get a chance to enroll in artificial intelligence course due to course constraints. They allowed only CSE students to take this course and EC students were not allowed to take this course. And I was very upset at that time. So I decided to take an online course and learn concepts from the online course. And I came to know about Android NGS machine learning course and started learning concepts from that course. My seniors have recommended this course to me. I also took help from my classmates as well because they already enrolled in artificial intelligence course that was offered in the institute. This course almost took around two months to complete and the programming language used was Octo for the assignments. By that time, I only knew C programming, Python and basic MATLAB. But Octo was similar to MATLAB, so I was able to complete all the assignments in that course. It's a 11 week course. I will show you the course. It, it's in Coursera. And if you search machine learning by Andrew Ng in Google, I think you will get this as a first link. This is one of the best course on machine learning and this was taught by Andrew Ng. He is rated among the top instructors on Coursera. I highly recommend you to take this course if you are planning to start your career in data science. I want to give you a tip here. When you are planning to do a course, please do maintain your notes and write all the important points and the algorithms that are being taught in the course. This will be really helpful to revise the concepts during your interviews. You need not go here and there and search for the algorithms and revise it again and again. You are choosing data science as a career and you will be working in data science for at least 10 to 20 years. So if you maintain a notes, this will be really helpful. So when you are planning to do a course, don't forget to maintain your notes. And my turning point is in fifth semester. In fifth semester, I enrolled in information retrieval probability courses, which are related to data science. At the same time, we also had option to take either BTEC project or honors project. BTEC project is a one year project and honors project is a two year project. It can be research and also a development of a product. It depends on the student's interest and the faculty interest. And finally, I decided to take honors project and I worked on an NLP project, which is aspect based intimate analysis on code mix data. I was completely new to NLP. I don't know anything about that. Uh, but I was I in that semester itself, I took information retrieval and I was just learning uh, text related things. It's a one year project and everything was done by us starting from data collection to modeling. And we did a lot of research when we were doing this project. I took help from my seniors, professors and some online courses uh, on YouTube and some other platforms as well. But one website which helped me a lot was machine learning mastery. So this was very useful for learning and coding. I will also show you this machine learning mastery. Jason Brownlee is the author of machine learning mastery website and he published articles very regularly on his website and he also published a lot of books on different topics like Python, machine learning, deep learning, Exiboost and so on. I highly recommend you to check this website. If you want to learn coding, I highly recommend you to check this website. At the same time, in fifth semester itself, I think deeplearning.ai released two courses uh, in deep learning specialization. So it's a five course specialization covering the basics of deep learning. As it was taught by Andrew Ng, I enrolled in the specialization because I had that trust on Andrew Ng and his teaching was just superb. And this specialization took almost four to five months to complete all the videos and assignments. The assignments are really good and I completed this course in my sixth semester. Let me show you the course as well. Deep learning specialization. In this deep learning specialization, there are five courses. Uh, neural networks and deep learning, improving deep neural networks, structuring machine learning project, convolutional neural networks, CNN and sequence models.
and this is also taught by Andrew NG and two more instructors. This is one of the best courses on Coursera. Once you have completed machine learning course by Andrew NG, you can move to a deep learning course if you are interested in learning deep learning. In sixth semester, I enrolled in topics in machine learning and computer vision courses. But by that time, I already completed fourth course of deep learning specialization, which is computer vision. As I have completed fourth course of deep learning specialization, this gave me some time to work on assignments and projects. So what I have done is I worked on neural artistic style transfer project. This was also an assignment in the online course. So I took this as an opportunity to code research experiment and implement the whole project from scratch. I really learned a lot during this project. I did a lot of experiments and I took feedback from my mentors and seniors as well. And this is one of the best project I used to showcase my skills uh, on my resume. These are I applied my learnings in my projects. And this is really important because many of them doesn't apply their learnings in projects. So I highly recommend you to work on project once you have completed a course. During sixth semester, I also started applying to data science internship roles as well. I applied to a lot of companies and finally uh, I got a data science internship opportunity. I would say this was also one of the turning points in my life. I learned a lot during the internship in terms of both technical and personal skills as well. I got a chance to work on real data science project for the first time and the mentors there always helped me and encouraged me, pushed me to do more than I could. I was also introduced to in-house hackathons as well. And for every one or two weeks, we had to present our work and I also improved my presentation skills. During my internship, I came to know the power of hackathons. In just a short period of time, we tried to explore and do a lot of things to solve a problem. I like this idea very much and I tried to continue this. In seventh and eighth semesters, what I have done is, uh, as, I, I, as I said, I really liked participating in hackathon. So I participated in nearly eight to 10 hackathons continuously of in my seventh and eighth semesters. And it gave me a lot of confidence to solve different data science problems. And I also use these to showcase uh, on my GitHub and on my resume as well. And these are like uh, talking points during my interviews. I also enrolled in statistics, deep learning and data mining courses that were offered by the institutes. These courses are like the foundational courses for data science. I added two more data science related projects to my resume. One project from statistics and other project from deep learning. And then in eighth semester, I started applying to jobs. So I got rejections from many companies. At the end, I got offers from multiple companies and I accepted one of them. The journey was really painful with a lot of tension. I believed in myself. Even if you are getting rejections from many companies, don't stop at all. Maybe the next company will offer you and see skills in you. Give your best. That's the only thing we can do. In my future videos, I will also share my experience on job hunting and how I approached people or companies. Here is the detailed blog on my data science journey. There are three parts. Do visit abhishekmamedi.com and go to my data science journey and suggestions. If you are a beginner, I highly suggest you to go through this. Maybe my journey might help you in getting a data science job. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon.